I am Carson Medford, and this is my wife, Jan. Hi. And uh, I'm an elder, uh, and she's an elderess, I guess is that what you call it, elderess. Sure. We've got uh, First Peter 3, and uh, so we'll read that and discuss it. Finally, all of you be of one mind, having compassion for one another, love as brothers. That's kind of weird. Yeah, we're married. But, uh, love as brothers, be tenderhearted, and be courteous. Finally, all of you be of one mind. As I was thinking about this, I was thinking about we've got the same Holy Spirit that lives in us. So we are of one mind if we've got the mind of Christ. And the same Holy Spirit that lives in me lives in her. Our marriage will obviously go a whole lot better if we're focused on Christ and and not on other things. Right. I mean, it's it's like if, you, if you're not Christ-centered in your relationship, one of you is going to be more selfish and more single-minded than the other one, and you're going to have more, more uh, I think, more conflict. The, having the mind of Christ, you're going to be kinder. You're going to have more compassion. You're not going to be so selfish, I don't think, in your, in your thoughts and in your, uh, your desires for your marriage. Women are obviously, most of the time, more tenderhearted and kind than men. And I know before uh, I came back to Jesus, um, you know, there's a big difference. You know, now I definitely am more tenderhearted, and she'll tell you that, than I was before. Um, so, man, if you've got, got a tenderhearted woman, I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, but that's the way to do it is just follow the Lord, and, and you, God will give you uh, that heart um, for other people, for your wife, and uh, for your kids and your family, and then that'll that'll come out. And uh, you know we're supposed to, um, you know, be the uh, hands and feet of Jesus. And the only way to do that is is to love. You know, that was uh, love God um, and love others. The two uh, commandments that Jesus gave us, and you know uh, that the same Holy Spirit you know lives in us as a couple. And sometimes when um, maybe uh, one of us uh, starts to you know, want to stray a little bit um, so far as uh, uh, spiritually. Um, the other one's normally always up. I know Pastor David said that about him and Nora, that, you know, neither one of them are, are very seldom down. One's up or uh, one's down, and you can help encourage uh, that other one. And mm-hmm. I've seen that happen, you know, if I'm, if I'm down, of course, I never am. But just say I was, um, that, you know, she can go, hey, you know, and, and kind of get me going back down that right path. Well, then that's another place where um, having compassion. Um, He was just saying how when one person is up and the other one might be down, um, just realizing and having compassion for that person and um, kind of seeing where they are at that time and, you know, kind of saying, you know, he's really not where he should be right now, but... um, he he really needs my compassion right now and sometimes if you want to say something that might not be the best thing in the world to say you know if you really think about it for just a minute and say hey is this edifying is this the kindest thing that i could be saying um is this the uh um is this what jesus would really do i mean how would i feel if this was said to me and i think if you kind of think along those lines in marriage. I think that it's it's it helps a whole lot because it kind of keeps us, the focus off yourself. And uh, for us, I think that that's, that's really been a good thing.